everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we are going to learn how to crochet the camel stitch and you can see a sample of it here in front of you. It uh, has a little bit of a knit look to it. It creates a nice stretchy fabric. This is what the front side looks like and this is your back side here. Sometimes the camel stitch is referred to as working in the third loop and there's another video tutorial in my stitch tutorial playlist on how to find that third loop. Today we are going to be working this camel stitch in rows. So thank you so much for joining me. I'm going to be using a little bit of the Karen Times Pantone yarn by Your Inspirations as well as a 5.5 millimeter crochet hook and you'll find links to both of these items in the description of this video. In the description, you will also find a link to the written instructions for this stitch, uh, which can be found for free on my blog. So thank you so much for joining me, and uh, grab a hook and some yarn, and let's learn how to crochet the camel stitch. For our stitch today, we're going to start by making a slip knot. And then we're going to make a foundation chain. Now your foundation chain can be any multiple that you would like, plus one extra stitch. So today I'm going to start with a multiple, uh, with, or with a foundation chain of 21 stitches. There's 20 and 21. The first thing you're going to do, or the next thing you're going to do in uh, that foundation chain is you're going to start in the second chain from your hook, so count in one, two, and you're going to work a half double crochet stitch into each stitch all the way across. So yarn over, insert your hook into that second chain, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through all three loops. That's your half double crochet. You'll work one half double crochet stitch into each chain. When you come to the end, you can chain one and turn your, turn your work. After you have chained one and turned your work, you will now be looking at the backs of your stitches. And when you look at the back of your work with a half double crochet stitch, you will see in that first stitch, you will see two horizontal bars. So one right over top of each other. This is the top of your stitch where you have that nice V where you would normally work in. But uh, for the camel stitch, we're actually going to be working through this second bar here, this bottom bar uh, on the back of your work. Okay, so normally, again, you would work through the top like that. But here we want to look at the back, yarn over, under that bottom bar, this is called your third loop, you're going to insert your hook from the bottom up through to the top, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and draw through all three. So that's working in your third loop, you're only inserting your hook under the one bar. So if we take a look again at the back of our work, you have this top horizontal bar, you have this bottom one right under it, yarn over, insert your hook under that bottom one, coming from under, from the bottom, out through to the top, just like that. Yarn over and draw through a loop, yarn over and draw through all three. I'll show you one more time and then I'll show you what it's doing to the front. So again, you have these two horizontal bars. You're going to be working under this bottom one, yarn over, go under that bottom bar, that third loop, yarn over, pull through, and yarn over and pull through. If you take a look at the front, what it's doing is that it's pushing the top of your stitch forward, which is giving you that knit look there. So you're going to continue doing that all the way across, working in that back third loop all the way across. And then when you come to the end, uh, you can chain one and turn your work. So 
So this, when you turn your work to look back at the front, this is what it will look like. We're now going to continue working in that third loop all the way back. So what we're going to do here is it's a little bit more tricky. You've chained one, you've turned your work. You're now looking at the front. We want all of the tops of our stitches to be pushed in the same direction. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the back of our work again. So this is the top where we would normally work, but we're going to push it forward a little bit more and I'll pull it out here. And now when you take a look at your stitch, this is my first stitch here, you'll see that horizontal bar just back there behind it. So that's the one you want to work in. So again, you're going to yarn over. The hardest one to find is this first one. You're going to insert your hook under that horizontal bar, yarn over, pull through, yarn over, and pull through all three. And you want to do that all the way across. So taking a look at my next stitch, there's my top bar there, and there's my third loop just right under there. So yarn over, insert my hook under that third loop, like so, yarn over and draw through, yarn over and draw through all three. And you can continue that all the way across. So finding that third loop all the way across. When you take a look again at the front, you can see that it's being pushed forward. So that's all there is to working this camel stitch. You'll go to the end of this row and then you're simply going to repeat that uh, second row that we completed and then this row here working in your third root loops and uh, that's all there is to it. So thank you so much for joining me and uh, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy crocheting. Bye. Mm -hmm.